Hi uh, guys, yeah, this standoff ended a little bit before four o'clock with the disbursement of all the protesters off of the South Lawn. What you see behind me appears to be somewhat of a little bit of a cleanup and a regathering, uh, a possible rebooting of what happened earlier today. Now the protest started setting up on the South Lawn a little before noon today, and the standoff with troopers got underway just before two o'clock. UT officials issuing a dispersal notice, which was then followed by the appearance of DPS troopers. Today, protesters, uh, today's protest is a much smaller group of pro-Palestinian protesters compared to what we saw last week here. The group used plastic tables that were chained together in a circle as part of a barricade. They also set up a couple of small tents inside that barricaded circle. The group taunted troopers chanting, there's no riot here, why are you in wire, uh, riot gear? Uh, and telling the troopers that they failed Uvalde, that's a reference to the school shooting that happened in that town. Now, there was no mass arrest that took place today like we saw last week, only sporadic incidents of people being taken into custody where individuals were pulled out of the group, taken away and uh, with their hands by, uh, zip tied behind them. Other individuals had to be rescued, apparently having heat exchange uh, this all happening as UT students were wrapping up their last official day of classes for the semester. Many students walked around this protest or just stood on the edge to watch and videotape it. A group of Jewish students also stood by waving the Israeli flag. I spoke to them about the protest and if they felt safe to be here. This is really worrisome because we thought Texas would never let something like this happen, but here we are with hundreds of students standing here standing up for something they don't know. They don't know what happens in Palestine. Half of these people would be stoned in Palestine. Women would not be here. Women would be sitting at home. We want uh, a peaceful debate. We want to have these tough conversations. We understand that there are disagreements. You can't have it when you're calling for, when you're making, creating genocidal statements. That's not okay. Again, looking live uh, at the scene of the South Lawn here at the campus of UT. Now, during this protest, I noticed a lot of people who were here were not actually students or faculty members that uh, were taking directly part of this protest, but uh, individuals who uh, are uh, from the Austin area that you usually see at some of these protests that take place in Austin. Officials here at UT tell me that the students who are arrested today, and it, it looked like it'd be a, a little less than a dozen uh, students who were taken into custody, that those students will be uh, handled as part uh, like they were last uh, last week and that those students will go through a disciplinary hearing process here at the university. Any faculty members I'm told that were uh, that took part in this uh, protest and were arrested, they will have to go through an HR process. That's uh, the scene here at the University of Texas. Now back to you in the studio.